Hi, I'm Rick Sellens, and I'd like to show you how to use some of the digital general purpose input output pins on your Arduino or, or similar microcontroller. In my kit, I've got a button, a push button, connected between pins 10 and 12, so that when I push it, the two pins are connected together. I'd like to be able to read pin 12 to find out whether or not the button's pushed. So I'm going to set up pin 10 so that it's always at a low voltage, always at ground potential. And then, whenever I push the button, pin 12 will be pulled down to ground by pin 10. If the button isn't pushed, I want to make sure that pin 12 is at the high level. So I'm going to use the input pull-up resistor feature to set the mode on pin 12 to make sure that unless it's connected to ground, it'll always read as high. The code compiles and runs OK, which is a good sign, and it's always worth checking early and often so that you don't have a whole lot of errors to fix all at once. Now let's read pin 12 every time we go through a loop and print out the result to see what happens. A delay will keep things happening on a human scale instead of a computer scale. And you'll have to take my word for it that the output is 1 when I'm not pushing the button, and 0 when I reach over with my finger and push the button. That's because when I am not pushing the button, pin 12 isn't connected to anything, and it's pulled high by that input pull-up pin mode. When I push the button, it's connected to pin 10, which is at a low voltage level, and pin 12 is then pulled low, down to zero, when I push the button. On just about every Arduino compatible board, pin 13 has an LED attached to it. On the Itsy Bitsy, it's down in the corner of the board, and it's a red one. We can use pin 13 to write values to control whether that LED is on or off. We'll start out by turning it on for 5 seconds in the setup function, and then we'll switch it on and off repeatedly in the loop function. I can see that it's blinking on and off every second, but if you don't believe me, let's put some code in to print it out to the monitor as well so that we know what's going on. It's worth noticing that even though pin 13 is in output mode, we can still read from it to find out what the state of that pin is, what we've set it to. So that allows us to switch back and forth depending on whatever the current value is. That should be enough for the basics on reading and writing digital values. You need to set the mode of the particular pin by its number, and the mode will be either output if you want to write things to it, input if you want to read things from it, or input pull-up if you want to make sure it's high when it's not connected to anything. Then use digital read to read in some information, or digital write to write a value out. Remember that these digital values are all either 1 or 0, on or off, high or low. 